Welcome back, ladies and gents. In today's guitar lesson, we have a very special guest. Art of Drumming HQ is lending his drumming skills on the playthrough section of today's guitar lesson, Flinner by Pliny. As you know, on my guitar channel, you'll be learning how to play the guitar parts for this section of the song. If you want to learn the drumming of this section of the song, head on over to his YouTube channel, Art of Drumming HQ, where you will get an in-depth lesson on the drumming on the song Flaneur by Pliny. Aside from teaching drumming lessons by using songs from various artists such as Animals as Leaders, Between the Buried and Me, Periphery, Pliny, The Contortionist and many more, he also offers a different perspective on drumming education. Art of Drumming HQ also provided the bass and the keys that you're about to hear in the playthrough of this section of the song. So hats off to that guy because he's awesome. Head on over to his channel, give him some love, be sure to subscribe and check out his video on the drumming on the song Flaneur by Pliny. The song is played in half step down, so that's low E to high E string, half step down. Let's get ourselves in tune and let's get started. So we're kicking it off by starting with the intro lead and we're starting with a beautiful chord, kind of jazzy. Seven on the A string, five on the D, seven on the G and seven on the B string. Start with a nice little downstroke. You're going to hold that chord and you're going to play seven on the B and G letting it ring. You're then going to lift five from the D string your index finger add it to B string 5 right behind your pinky then you're going to hammer on 5 to 7 and then 7 on the B letting it all ring then you're going to play 7 release the chord little vibrato 
then you play 7 starting on the A, 5 on the D, 7 on the G, letting it ring. Once you hit that 7, you let the chord go. Then with your middle finger, 6 on the G string, bend. Repeat the chord. And here we're adding natural harmonics. That's 7 on the B natural harmonic, 7 on the G string, 7 on the high E, and then 5 on the high E. Then we're adding our index finger barring B and E string. We're playing hybrid picking, picking and using our fingers. We play 10, 10, B and E, play 0 on the G string, open note. 10 on the B string, play 10, 10, B and E, switch your finger positioning, 10, 9, open note G, 10, letting it ring, open note G again, play 10, 10, B and E, pull off 9. From there we're moving on, continuing with our hybrid picking, we're adding 10 on the B string middle finger and with our ring finger 11 on the D string we're going to be alternating on the notes on the D string 11, 9, 11, 12, 11, 9 and that's playing each group twice after that you're going to shift bar 12 on the B, G and E string and nice little downstroke Shift the chord to 9, 10, 9, G, B, and E string. Now we're going to go into some, some tapping. We're going to be tapping with our right hand. And we're going to be holding the notes with one note on each string with our left hand. You can keep the chord shape. You're going to then tap 12, pull off 9. Adding your ring finger to 10. Tap 14, pull off to 10. Tap 12, pull off to 10. Then you're going to add your index finger to 7 on the G string. Then you're going to tap 14, pull off the 7. Tap 11, pull off the 7. And then tap 12. That's tapping 12 on the D string. Then we're going to move on with the following chord. Higher up on the fretboard, 14, 15, 14. Nice little downstroke. Then we're adding groups of two notes on two different strings, one note on each string, palm muted. That's barring seven with our index finger, seven, seven, D and G, nine, nine, D and G. We're shifting to G and B string, nine, eight, nine, 10, nine, 12, and then 14, 15 without palm muting. We're going to then slide into 9 on the G string, 8 B string, 10 E, play 9 G, 10 E, 9 G, and then 9 on the high E, slide to 5. Now we're going to start off with a very groovy riff that kicks in right after the intro. Now the riff is an interplay between the low E string and the D string and rounding each bar off with a little lick. So the groupings are as follows. Low E string has a grouping of 1, 3, 2, 3 followed by the little lick and the D string in that same bar 4, 2, 4 as you can see in the tab so 1, 1, 1. Very simple we're starting off with open note on the low E playing 4 on the D, playing 3 open notes on the low E with the first one being muted, playing 2 on the D, playing 2 open notes with the first one being muted on the low E, 4, again same 3 open notes low E with the first one muted, then we have the following little lick, that's 7, it's all palm muted by the way, that's 7, 3, 5 on the A, and 7, 5 on the B. 
Now the second bar in the tabs, as you can see, has the same patterns in terms of note groupings, except we're playing a little higher up, three and four, so we're replacing zero with three, and uh, the notes on the D string actually stay the same. So three, four, three, two, and here you have the little change up, palm mute three, and then open note, four on the D, open notes. There you have it. Now we're moving on to the variation where the whole grooviness and kind of odd time signature feel of it all comes in. Very cool. It's actually an interplay with the drums and that's where that odd time feeling comes from. So here the interplay between the low E and the D string are the note groupings on the low E 1, 4, 1, 3 and on the D string 1, 2, 1. So let's take a look. First we're starting off with a open note low E, slide into four on the D, then we have four open notes on the low E, the first one and the last one are, are palm muted. Two on the D, and then you play two, and then right after it, the open note low E. Slide into four. Next three notes are open note, with the first one being palm muted, low E. The same lick ending off the bar. Then you have the same pattern except different note choices on the fretboard replacing low E0 with 3 on the A string. And right here at the end we have a different variation 7-5 on the A, 7-5 on the low E and then repeat. There is a slight variation right at the end of the riff itself before going into the instrumental jazzy break with the saxophone. Uh, you're basically replacing 4 and 2 with 8 and 6. So that's kind of the only difference, and right at the end you finish it off by pulling off 7 to 5 on the A, and 7 to 5 on the low E, and then low open note E. Lastly, we have the lead that plays during the heavy riff. We start off first with a bend on 17. Pick it again, bend release. Pull off to 15. Play 17. Play 17, slide to 19. Back to 15 on the B string. You play then 14 on the B string. Slight bend, 12, 14, 14, bend, release, pull off 12, 14. Same process, bending 17, but here is where we have the little change up. We go to 12. 
play 15, slide to 17, play 17 again, vibrato. Move to 19, then to 17 on the B string, 17 on the high E, slide to 24, pick 24, slide away. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to support my channel, you can always subscribe. And be sure to check out Art of Drumming HQ for many more lessons on music, drumming, and I hope to be able to collaborate with him much more in the future. I will see you all again next time.